page six now, more phony lessons from the Mueller report. How many more times are these partisan hacks in the House on the Judiciary Committee going to beat the Mueller report to death? What possible lessons are there to learn except the obvious? Don't ever allow this to happen to a president nor this republic again. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, here's the biggest lesson, I think, uh, from the entire Robert Mueller episode. It's the greatest lesson, and it's a constitutional lesson. Never give one man in this republic that much authority, that much free reign, that much power to ruin people's lives like Michael Flynn. That in a nutshell, Graham, is the problem with a special prosecutor, which is running amok. Um, Rosenstein charged Mueller with the ability to do anything, chase anything, anywhere, anytime, with almost unlimited authority. I mean, there were a zillion people questioned. Thousands and thousands and thousands of documents looked at uh, charges brought that have nothing to do with his authority as to, as to what uh, his investigation was supposed to be about, i.e. Russian collusion with the president and his campaign previous to the election and obstruction of justice. All of that returned goose eggs. And yet the other stuff that was found, uh, tax evasion, um, money laundering, lying under oath and so on, had nothing to do with what he was supposed to be doing. And I bet you a dollar on the side between you and me and your audience, if Mueller was investigating the 535 members of the Congress, he would find something on everybody that's a felony, including literally Everybody, including the and scumbag uh, Raskin that we just heard from. And he's quoting some poll that 47 percent of Americans want impeachment favor. I don't know what he's smoking, uh, but that's nowhere near the numbers that I'm seeing. If, if it truly was 47 percent of the American people supporting impeachment, Nancy Pelosi would be all over it. But she's not because she knows it's not 47 percent. But I have some but I have some breaking news, Barry, uh, regarding Mueller. Apparently, uh, they're looking to delay his testimony, scheduled for next week, and we're hearing that it, it, it may be moved, maybe it has uh, already. But the other part of the breaking news is, is because the Democrats want to get all their questions lined up so they can trap Robert Mueller into releasing some sort of phrase that they want to be for their Watergate moment, for their re-election plans in 2020. If I was an advisor, we talked about this a couple months ago, you and I, and I was advising the Democrats, and they listened, they would run away from this subject as fast as their little legs could carry them. There has never been a popular move amongst the electorate to support this shenanigan. Everybody that is interviewed that's not wildly partisan, which is about 75% of the American public, Republican, Democrat, moderate, liberal, conservative, independent, 75% don't want their government doing this. They want their government solving problems by legislating yep. and doing the things that are important, like security, the budget, health care, national defense, and so on. If they want to be reelected, I'm talking about the Dems, if they want to win the Senate and keep the House, and most importantly to most of them, if they want to win the White House, stop this goofball uh, sh showcase that's starting every day hey, with a new hey, idea. Hey, Barry, to get Bob you, you, Mueller to say, you, yeah, you should have been. You're not supposed to be giving the Democrats advice on this program. Of course, they're probably not watching <laughs> either. No, no, you're right. It's it's, but it's all a political stunt, right? I mean, it's all a political stunt in the end to garner votes, uh, you know, appeal to the Democrat base, and mortally harm Donald Trump. That's what this is. has nothing to do with representing we the people. Very thing.